Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the video series History of English Literature. Till now, I have made videos starting from Anglo-Saxon period to Elizabethan period. If you have not watched those videos yet, please go and check out the playlist History of English Literature. I have given the link of the playlist in the description box. Please check it out and there you will get all the videos I have made on History of English Literature. So today I will discuss Jacobian age which comes after Elizabethan period. So the duration of this age is from 1603 to 1625. In this video at first as usual we will discuss historical background of this age. Then we will discuss the Jacobian drama and the important dramatists and their works. And then we will talk about metaphysical poetry. So let's start. Historical background. After Queen Elizabeth, King James VI of Scotland became the King of England and was known as James I in England. He was the son of Mary, Queen of Scots, and he was the first Stuart King. He called himself the King of Great Britain because he was the ruler of both England and Scotland. One of the important incidents of this age is gunpowder plot. So now the King James I was a Protestant king. The Catholics were for that against him. On November 5, 1605, some Catholics planned to blow up the houses of parliament so that the king and other members of parliament died. But the plot was discovered by the king and one of the conspirators, Guy Fox, was captured. So this failed plan is known as gunpowder plot. Now we will talk about the literature produced in this age. One of the most famous literary work produced in this age is Authorized Version of Bible. King James I published the English translation of Bible in 1611 which is known as Authorized Version of Bible or King James Bible. Now we will talk about Jacobian drama. So at the time, the changing appetite of the audience expected more realistic expression of the society. So that the comic drama of Elizabethan age led by Shakespeare gave way to the harsh satire produced in uh, Jacobian age. Common themes of Jacobian drama were city life, corrupt society, lust, adultery, death, family crisis, exploitation, etc. In Jacobian drama, we can see frankness about sexuality and sexual relations. We can divide Jacobian drama in three types. The first one is revenge tragedy. This was the most popular form of drama at that time. Revenge was the most dominant motif in those uh, dramas. Uh, these dramas followed Seneca tradition. The term revenge tragedy was first introduced by A. H. Horndike in 1900. Please remember this point. Some examples of revenge tragedy are Shakespeare's Hamlet, Middleton or Turner's The Revenge Tragedy, Webster's Duchess of Palfi, The White Devil, etc. Now the second type of Jacobian drama is City Comedy. City Comedy reflects uh, city life of London. We can see the themes of adultery, unhappy marriages, etc. Some examples of city comedies are uh, Ben Johnson's Everyman in His Humor, The Alchemist, Bartholomew Fair, Middleton's A Chest Made in Chipside, East, Eastward Ho, Westward Ho, Northward Ho, etc. Third and the last type of uh, Jacobian drama is Musk. Mask was uh, performed in courts by amateur artists. It was the part of festivals and it included songs, dances, elaborate settings. Ben Johnson was pioneer in writing mask. Uh, he wrote many masks. Uh, uh, now let us see the important dramatist of Jacobian age. The most famous dramatist of this age was Ben Johnson. Uh, he was also the first poet laureate of England. His most famous comedy is Everyman in His Humor. This is his most famous work. After the success of this work, he wrote Everyman out of his humor. So this work was not get, uh, did not get uh, that huge success. Uh, his other major comedies are Volpone, The Alchemist, Bartholomew Fair, A Tale of a Top, etc. 
he associated with Thomas Nash in Isle of Dogs. It was written in the Elizabethan period. Ben Jensen, George Chapman, and John Marston together wrote Eastward Ho. It was written in response to Westward Ho. It was a controversial work and it angered King James I. Now let us see another dramatist that is uh, George Chapman. He was the first major writer of Jacobian age. He was famous for his translation of Homer's works. His first play was The Blind Beggar of Alexandria. The character of uh, the blind beggar of Alexandria, uh, Cleanthus, is compared to Marlowe's uh, Tamburlaine because of their similarities. Another dramatist of the Jacobian age was Thomas Haywood. He was a prolific writer. He wrote 220 plays. His some famous plays are A Woman Killed with Kindness, The Four Prentices of London, etc. He also wrote Apology for Actors. Another dramatist is Thomas Secker. He is called the Dickens of the Elizabethan age. His most famous work is A Shoemaker's Holiday. The source of this work uh, is from Thomas Delaunay. He also wrote Satiro, Satiro Mastics. He wrote The Westward Ho and Northward Ho in collaboration with John Webster. Now let us see John Webster. His two most famous plays are The White Devil and The Duchess of Malfi. Other playwrights of uh, the Jacobian age are Thomas Middleton, Cyril Turner, John Marston, Beaumont and Fletcher, etc. So that was all about the Jacobian drama. Now we will discuss metaphysical poetry, which was very famous in that age. So the term metaphysical was first applied by John Dryden in his assessment of poetry of John Donne. Later on, the term was popularized by Dr. Johnson when he used it for a group of poets. The central creed of the metaphysical poets was that they tried to make their poetry as obscure, deep and mysterious as possible. They employed bold and ingenious concepts, which is also known as metaphysical concepts. It employs unusual images from different fields of knowledge like history, geography, astronomy, etc. In one of his poems, John Dunn compared two lovers as the two legs of a compass because the lovers are separated because of the distance, but somewhere they are still connected. So from this example, you can understand what types of images they uh, used in their poems. The poems, uh, in the poems, we can see it frequently uses similes, metaphors, and the most extravagant hyperboles. Now, let us see some of the famous metaphysical poets who were John Donne, Andrew Marvel, Henry Vaughan, George Howard, and Richard Cashew. So that was all about the Jacobian age. In this short time period, I tried to cover everything. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment and share with your friends. And please subscribe my channel to get the whole video series about history of English literature. Thank you.